hey what's up guys this is Jasminder from web services point in this video we will talk about uh, security problems security issues with the WordPress websites so in here we have a website assignment for the security checkup uh, on the front end obviously there is no signs that this website is infected or anything else as everything is working fine so but uh, if we go to the C panel of this website, we find like uh, when we do the virus scan, and uh, it turns out to be like uh, there are, there are a lot of infections. So let's do a quick scan here for the web space. Um, this website is hosted with WSP web hosting and uh, with this web hosting there are um, advanced scanner that that does the PHP malware scanning with a very good positive rate so as you can see we have a virus scanner uh, scan complete and 49 infections found so let's go through the report as you can see here these these infections um, are the obvious infections if we go to the file manager and check into the code of these files uh, uh, suppose this file public HTML file manager and uh, check for this file and see the code um, okay as you can see it has an encoded uh, values that is uh, the encoding that is used by the attackers to hide their code so now uh, we have the report of all the infections the problem here is this virus scanner will clean all the files that are listed here if we do the process cleanup here but now the issue here is as you can see there are some files that are core core wordpress files uh, as an example if we see here public index.php this is a core PHP file if we remove this one the website will be down so we have to do things with uh, a process step by step so the first step is to take the full backup of the files including the infections so I'm going to do a select all and compress I'll make a zip archive and uh, I'll name it infected.zip and it starts the compression okay we have the uh, compression completed here and we have the file generated that is infected.zip okay now first thing to check here is uh, if you uh, if your website uh, WordPress version is updated or not so I am logged into the dashboard of the website and in here I see that there is a WordPress update available so I will first do the WordPress update because it will replace this infections with the original files this file will also uh, this file should be replaced with the real file after the update so before taking an update uh, before doing an update I will also go ahead and take the <coughs> database backup from PHP my admin okay I am in PHP my admin I have the database selected I'll go ahead and export this or you can just do quick okay it will export the database database export is done now now I am good to do the back, uh, update so I will do please update now and okay update now it will do the update within few seconds depending on the sp server speed
okay the update is done and uh, now we have updated version of WordPress latest version I will first see if the website is still up or there is some error okay the WordPress is working fine that is good sign and uh, now I'll, I will do the scan again leave that here wire scanner and here now I have just ran another scan there are 47 inf infections before let's see how much it is now okay it is 44 that simply means that uh, uh, let me show you the status first okay so um, these random names are obvious viruses we can just go ahead and delete them and um, okay okay now the second thing before removing all these viruses from here I will um, do another step here as you can see uh, uh, WP config is obviously a core PHP file a core WordPress file so we can not just remove it um, now as we know we have the latest version on the WordPress I'll go ahead and download a copy of WordPress from the official website okay and download the WordPress okay okay the zip is downloaded I will upload it upload the latest zip it'll take some time to upload so I'll just pop uh, stop the video here okay it's uploaded now uh, with this step we will replace all the infected core files these ones all of them um, with the original files that are not infected okay we will extract in a folder that is suppose original extract that okay one one thing that you need to do before doing this step is to keep a backup of this one by just naming it backup because it has the database values that we need later on okay now from the original uh, I will just rename them to old we'll do this for WP include and WP admin make sure don't touch the WP content one because that that is not uh, I mean that is not required to replace the files with okay we'll go to the original WordPress and uh, move the WP admin and WP includes to the main directory copy them and move it to the public HTML and copy okay we have the folders here this one and this one okay now we need to replace the files move all of them into a folder name it old create new folder and move all of them to old okay we move them and now from the original get these files and copy them to the original directory ok 
okay we have them here now edit this config sample with rename it to wp config and uh, click on edit get the values from the old con wp config file this one that we made we just need this value db name type in here by user here and the password here and save that okay we are done with this and uh, now we will see if the website is still up okay we have an error here that says to install the website again let's see what's missing here uh, compare the wp config file with the old one we missed one thing here um, yeah here table prefix this is not the same in our one we'll copy and paste this save that and now guthar.com and see if the website is up okay we have the website up here okay now we have the files cleaned and everything um, we will do the scan again scan public web space okay it will take time now because we have multiple files added here forty nine infections let's see the report and we will see that uh, there are very few infections that are into the main directory these are all in old or in the WP includes old in here but there will be still infections that are in the um, plugins or WP content okay we have to take the risk here now because obviously we can't go through all the files in the plugins and check if they are original or not even the automated plugins like WordFence can't do this because the WordPress plugin directory is way too much now we will simply go to uh, we will current current time all the infections process cleanup okay it will current time all the infections and now we may face a downtime in the website let's see okay as you can see here we have a downtime here that says there are files that are missing now okay to fix these error we have to download the original files of the plugin that were here before doing that I will go ahead and log into the dashboard WP admin okay we have an error um, let's disable this bloom for publishers we have a plugin error here we'll go to cpanel and uh, file manager public html wp content plugins and bloom for publisher name it anything it will deactivate the plugin okay login to WP admin 
okay I am logged in and uh, now I'll go to plugins now as you can see here the plugin bloom for publishers is deactivated that is good I will just go ahead and delete this one and uh, add new if you know about the plugins wordpress plugin the all the plugin data is stored in the database so you don't need to worry about the settings that you had before for the plugins install now activate okay we have other up plugins that need needs an update we will do that later on and uh, before that i will go ahead and scan the final time to, to check if you if we still have the infections there we go we have no infections now now to clean our site we'll go to the file manager and uh, we'll remove these directories old ones delete and we will uh, we, these are all the in, uh, junk files that that we need to remove okay so they don't mess up again delete yeah and uh, we can also remove this folder now but uh, this has our backup so so yeah so we are good to move and uh, our website is totally clean now and uh, let's see if, if these are removed okay we are good so we have we no more have any kind of infections on our website so this is the way you can clean up your website um, this requires a good virus scanner in your web hosting I recommend to go go with the WSP web hosting because at WSP we take care of your security too much thank you so much for watching this video and uh, if you cannot do these things yourself you can just um, post in comments and uh, I can do that for you for a very reasonable cost okay see you guys in the next video thank you Jasminder was here